Mr. Speaker, I rise to recognize an organization that brings together fierce rivals in the name of shared community, an organization that bridges the sometimes impossible differences between us, an organization helping to bring arch rivals together for the betterment of the community, and most specifically, an organization that literally bridges the 64 miles between Michigan State University in East Lansing and the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. Most days, any Spartan or Wolverine will tell you that those miles are still too close for comfort. But on, this, on the Friday before the big game between both schools, a new tradition has emerged in the name of charity, community spirit, and expanding access to all. It's called Alex's Great State Race. Named after Alex Powell, a young man accepted to Michigan State as he underwent treatment for a rare and aggressive cancer. Alex had always dreamed of attending MSU. But the surgeries, chemo, and radiation treatment left him unable to carry out his studies with the normal vigor of a freshman student. Thankfully, Alex turned to MSU's Resource Center for Persons with Disabilities, or RCPD. Devoted to inclusivity on campus for students, employees, and visitors alike, the RCPD provided Alex with a dorm room near his classes, offered support to him and his family, and accommodated his needs as they became more complex. They made arrangements to provide Alex the same MSU experience as any other student, even when he was being treated at a cancer center at the University of Michigan, 64 miles away. Despite his valiant fight, Alex lost his battle with cancer in 2011. Those around him remember his vibrant spirit and easy sense of humor, even in the midst of a debil debilitating illness. More than anything, Alex wanted to leave a legacy that would inspire others, which is how his mother, Juliana, got in touch with the folks at the Resource Center who played such an important role in his life. Together, they created the Great State Race in Alex's name, a charity organization dedicated to raising money for the RCPD, as well as its counterpart at University of Michigan, the Office of Services for Students with Disabilities. Now celebrating its seventh year, Alex's Great State Race is an example of what can unite us. Each year, no matter how intense the rivalry between the two schools, ROTC cadets from both Michigan and Michigan State come together to run the game ball, the 64 miles separating the two campuses. Supported by police that line the route, gracious donations that make it possible, and a community united by the spirit of charity, Alex's great uh, state race proves that despite our split allegiances, we absolutely have a common humanity. Today, I'm proud to honor the Powell family, the ROTC cadets, and all the folks involved at both schools who raise money for such a worthy cause. As the Jewish prayer, prayer of remembrance says, so long as we live, they too shall live, for they are now a part of us as we remember them. Mr. Speaker, we all remember Alex as long as these words will exist in the congressional record, which is to say, we remember Alex forever.